Hello everyone and welcome to State of the Realm, your weekly Final Fantasy XIV podcast. We didn't disconnect, thank goodness, we're back, no more 90k, servers are doing a little bit better right now. But this week, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about lore, in fact, we're not just going to talk about it, we're going to get quizzed on it, and that's going to be bad. Air Zivia 4.1 edition is now! I'm one of your hey. hosts, Michael, Mr. Happy, way to just talk before I'm done with the intro at this god. They already know you're here, because it's this show. I'm sorry! Sorry. It's okay. I'm one of your hosts, Michael, Mr. Happy Pover. Of course, joining me is Sly, aka Sly Fox, aka Sly, aka Gray Fox, aka you, my boy Blue. How you doing, Sly? A little bit better. A little bit better. Now that we we cleared out the um, 90Ks and the DDoSs a little bit. I had a little bit, it's still a little bit over the past couple days, but it's been immensely better this weekend and today than it was from even just last Friday. Saturday was probably the worst over the over the uh, course of the weekend. And yeah, he he spoiled it already. Athos is here too. Hey guys, I've not been getting any DDoS, any 90Ks, elemental. Really? They they just posted today about the JP data centers. One? One. one okay, we've like been getting them every 20 minutes. minutes. 20 day. minutes, yeah. Right, there was, yeah, there was just one and then nothing since. So, we're Gucci. All right, well, it's it's showing bad. off over here. Apparently. <laughs> All right, so I have some good news and I have some bad news at this. I bad actually news ma- first. I, well, yeah, the, I agree. Bad news first. Okay, the bad news is I don't think I have the music mm-hmm. for our because this this ever since I, I I just don't have all the same stuff on my. No, that's fine. So I don't that's think right. I don't think I have the the jazzy music for your Air Zivia intro. Can you can you do like I was drum- I was like can- don't ask me I was like he's gonna ask me to 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 do like. <laughs> A rendition. Can you do like some dramatic throat singing or something for me? From of all things, it has to, it has yeah. to be throat singing. Yeah, it's Mongolian throat singing. Mon- like, specifically Mongolian. Like I might be yes. able to do throat singing, but like Mongolian might be might be a a skill I'm not a hundred percent certain that I possess just yet. Okay, I, what I mean, about you, Sly? I could. I uh, guess, yeah, Sly. What about you? <laughs> How's your Mongolian? <laughs> How's your Mongolian throat singing, Sly? Yeah. Bit iffy, bit iffy. I'm taking oh, one geez. more. I'm taking one more look. No, I don't have the the game show music, <laughs> which is literally the name of the track. Is game show? Game show music. It's yeah. It's it's actually the the track itself. Like not even my name for it is called game show. And you know, it's that's, just generic. That's, that's fine. I th- I think it needed an update anyway. To be perfectly honest. And so the update is throat singing. Well, I mean, if you're up for it, but I don't think you are, are you? I don't think they're up for that. I think there's a big difference between whether or not I'm willing to do it and and oh them being God. up for it. All right, guys, look, this is Aeozibrio. Welcome to Aeozibrio, everybody. It's the show where I ask these two Muppets uh, law questions and see how many cutscenes they've been skipping. Um, and we all get to have a good, good belly laugh about it. Um, whoever wins gets to wear the golden subliga. I, I can at least show them the golden subliga. Well, well, everything on me is golden. Mm-hmm. Except Bahamut. Except the yeah. Subligar. Except Bahamut. Nah. If you want to know what the Golden Subligar looks like, we normally have a musical track and a whole intro and stuff, but we haven't done it in a while, and I don't have the music track for some reason. I know, exa- right. I know exactly yeah. where to find it is the worst part. I just don't have it. That's all right. So. Mongolian throat rapping. <laughs> oh, I don't know what makes it Mongolian, so I'm not even going to try. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure either. Um, anyway, before before we dive in, do you guys have any news? Is there anything anything interesting been happening? Did you guys talk about PAX Australia at all? No, no. You can do that. Is anyone? Since you were there. I don't know. I didn't hear anything out of it. 
Okay, so it was it was the first time uh, Final Fantasy XIV has ever been represented at an Australian convention, which was awesome uh, to begin with. Uh, and secondly, it was just, it was a massive success. It was so many people that came through. It was the first time ever that there's been a 100% clear rate of, uh, the, of, of any battle challenge, but this was of the, the Lakshmi one specifically. Um, and the feedback was awesome. And, and basically, uh, as far as I understand, Square Enix is planning on doing plenty of more Australian things and things in the region. So, so, so what you're saying is mm -hmm. Australian servers. Well, nothing's been confirmed, but uh, I, I'm, I'm very optimistic. I mean, you can't plan to do a bunch of shit in a region that doesn't support the game and not then decide to support the game. Like, that would blow yeah, my mind. Well, I mean, that's my thinking. I, I think it sort of logically follows that that <laughs> kind of thing is being discussed. Um, but there are definitely more plans for representation in ANZ and more events and stuff like that. So uh, it was it was awesome. It was really, it was really, really exciting. Did you get to do the Lakshmi Challenge at all? Where's your shirt? No, I was uh, I was up there with uh, Bradley Diyoshi TV. Uh, we were just commentating the whole time. Okay, I was like, maybe before the show started, they would have given you a chance to get in on that. Nah, no. I mean, it's Wait. just story mode. It was just story mode, Lakshmi. Wait, is, isn't that, that, that the Lakshmi? Isn't that the Lakshmi shirt behind you? Yeah, I've got a bunch of them. There you go. <laughs> That's all I was asking is if you if you had the shirt. Oh yeah, I've been trying shirt. to give them away. I got a whole bunch of them. Uh, yeah, so that was awesome. Uh, those of you who who are listening, who are uh, players from Australia and New Zealand, we actually have a sort of semi-official Facebook group, which you should definitely Twitter. consider, and a Twitter, yeah, which you should definitely consider joining and following and all that stuff. So look for uh, Final Fantasy fourteen A and Z in all of the the social media places and get on that. And he got his plug. Other than that, there's just been a bunch yeah. of interviews the last week, which we might touch mm -hmm. on closer to the end. Um, it's a lot of recurrent, like, the same things being said over and over again, with, like, maybe some slight wording changes about a lot of stuff, so... Uh, mm -hmm. We may or may not, depends on how long it takes for Sly and I to make a fool of ourselves. Pretty much. And then <laughs> there's the uh, Levin event, which is pretty much the same thing as a few years ago. Yeah, it's the Aroa yeah. event from when they said they were ending Eleven, even though it literally just got patched, like, five days ago. <laughs> We're really ending it this time, guys. It's just ending. It's two years ago. It's like um, uh, those co comeback tours. You know, oh, oh the, the last It's ever. a comeback tour that never ended. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> now, uh, Sly, you won the last ASV, didn't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. He's won the last two or three. I think he's won all of them. No, I've, I've, I've had the belt for two of them. But one of them was oh, when really? I was partnered with Pook, and one of them I barely mm -hmm. won. Oh, yeah, that's right. Who carried you? I remember that. That fucking sword. The question with the names of the items from the dungeons. I'll never forget. Well, um, I think I think Defender should probably choose uh, where we start. I've basically done the same thing as I did last time where I've got some questions about the West and i got some questions about the East. So do you, do you have a preference of where we would like to start, Sly? Uh, let's start East. Oh, very brave. Okay. <laughs> Don't All right. That just makes me completely optimistic. Thank you, Ethis. Oh, well, yeah. Do you want to take the first question? I'll defer the mic. Okay. You All bitch. right. Fair enough. No. All right, Mike. Uh, so last time you were talking about Lord Zuiko, the, the Hingen Lord Zuiko is honored by a statue in the Kugane Ten. The drunkard who taught, yeah, the drunkard who yeah. talks about him. So we found out that uh, Zuiko is the founder of Sueno Kuni. We have since found out what exactly Sueno Kuni is. This was not on anything I read. So, um, Sueno Kuni. Oh, wait a minute. We were speculating last time yeah. about, oh, okay, is this a city? Is this a town? Yeah, Why is this yeah, yeah. in Kigane if you found it Sue no Kuni? We have found out since exactly what Sue no Kuni refers to. I feel like I remember you being disappointed about this. No, that was something no, else. I was, that was disappointed. So I was disappointed because you asked... Um, you asked Koji about it, and he said, I'll look forward to the next patch. Yeah, that was with the, uh, yeah, okay. I remember that. And then, and then you did find out, though. 
That was I did find out. Suno Kuni. Um we were talking about whether it was a port. Cuz that's uh that's what's the to the that way. Whatever I'm trying to say. Um <laughs> Yeah, I, to the west? No, no. Well, to you <laughs> it's, it's, where he's it's, pointing. it's it's mirrored. It's mirrored for me. Okay. I'm, I'm go- yeah. Um I damn, I don't remember this. This wasn't anything I read earlier today. So mm-hmm. clearly I didn't read everything because I did read stuff before we started. This was not mm-hmm. there. Um, mm-hmm. I I'm like just... that you have to qualify that. You yeah. have to be like, no, no, really, I did my homework. I, I can name, there's so many things I can name right now, and that is not one of them. Um, mm-hmm. I'll just take a... I'll... Dude, I don't even have a good guess for this one. This one's not working well for me. Damn you, Sly, for making me go first. Mm-hmm. Swear to I'm God. I did. If, swear to God, if you get asked, like, what color is, like, a... Namazu punch you in the face. <laughs> we'll punch at this in the face. If that's the second question. Uh, I, I've actually, I actually don't even have anything like other than taking what you said about us talking about whether it was like a town. That would be my best guess, but it would literally be such a generic guess you wouldn't give me points for it anyway. Which you okay, so you think you think it's a town? No, I'm just saying that like outside of the conversation we just had, like I can't even like deduct the actual meaning behind it. It would be such a generic answer you wouldn't give me points for it anyway. That's probably true. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to say that as a pass to Sly. Yeah. Mine is even broader. Like, mm-hmm. I might be remembering the wrong thing, but wasn't it a refugee camp? A refugee? Camp? How is that broader than. <laughs> that's so specific. That's, that's not bro- that is incredibly specific. <laughs> Like, why do you why do you think a refugee camp? Where are you getting that from? Uh, because we were talking about something. Talking about who are we talking? About? I mean, a warlord founding a refugee camp seems a little bit ironic to me. It does. I think no? we're about dust boys. No, never mind. <laughs> so no, I I don't know. Uh, is, I'm that, just gonna... is that your guess? <laughs> yes, and it's a terrible yeah. guess. So I don't yeah. think it's a bad okay. guess. I mean, it's yeah. not a bad guess. It's just a very strange one. I don't know where that came from. Uh, no, it's not. It's not a refugee camp. Um, Sueno Kuni. So we had this uh, Age of Blood, right? Where all the yeah. warlords are slicing up pieces of Hingashi for themselves. So Sueno mm-hmm. Kuni was the name of uh, Zuiko's realm, which covered uh, the whole southern region of Shishu being that southern island. So it was the region that sort of covered Kugane and, and the surrounding lands. Mm. During the Age of Blood. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Well, presumably, that still that region still is referred to as uh, Sueno Kuni. Um, but yes, I, I was glad that we got some closure on that. Uh, okay. All right. This one's for you, Sly. Yay. The caves of the steppe are occupied by giant elephant-like Matanga. So we had this exact question last time. No, we didn't. We had a different Uagiri question. Hmm. Um, I want to know how the Uagiri tribe believe they came to be here. No, I swear we had this exact question. Nope. Really? The caves. Yeah. The the big uh, the big elephant like creatures. You're asking how they how they got there, how the Uagiri believe that they got there oh you oh, okay i see the difference yeah yeah mm. well it's not something as simple as like migration it can be that simple it might be something as simple as that so how many times have i said that we just had this discussion in pre-show how many times have i said <laughs> think about maybe it, what else you know about the Urigiri. They were exiled. Are we talking about the same the ones that live in the caves? The Yugiri. You're asking how the elephants think they got there? No, I'm asking how. <laughs> okay, the then I know Yugiri what the answer is. Think that the yeah. elephants got there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know the answer. Good luck, Sly. <laughs> Actually, I think my answer is not 100%. Fuck. I'd take what you know about the Yuragiri slide and work from there. I think I might get half credit.
You're gearing. Mm hmm. Thinking of a different fucking tribe, though. I'm gonna have the the fur. I'm gonna have the completely really. Fur I have no, I, I have nothing. I'm surprised they, they believed okay. that they were that they, it was. So I'm probably not gonna word it a way that's adequate to you. But I'm I'm almost positive that they think they got there because of like them going against and maybe not going against the zine, but going against their own beliefs. Like they, okay. they, they were it's just I'm not finding the right words. Uh, no, you're on the right track. So why yeah. why do you think the caves specifically then? Um the cave specifically, that was where so we had like literally I, I swear, like it's so like in my memory, but just the exact words for it. Because I remember you giving us two two things that happened to them, like two really important details about mm -hmm. about that exact tribe and that exact scenario. Mm -hmm. Um I'm just trying to remember what the tribe. I can't remember if that was the tribe that was greedy. Stinking. If that was the, I'm trying to remember if that was the tribe that was like so greedy while they were in there because, man, they were exiled and then they broke something. They broke. They broke part of their like the thing that makes them their tribe. Or it was punishment mm -hmm. for the the way they ran their tribe. That's like okay. like the most. That's like the broad answer. It's just some, the specifics of it that is like. So you're saying me. that basically the the Kami or, or their gods or whoever. Yeah, I I don't remember said, if it was Azim or if it was or if it was uh what's his name uh. I mean uh yeah yeah no Azim. I just can't like I I just don't that's like the broad answer it's just the specific parts which you which by the way I very much remember you breaking down word for word mm -hmm. on okay, this I'll show I tell you what, I can give you a half point okay. for that they they do believe that uh, that they were sent there by the gods the Matanga um, so I can give you a half point for extrapolating that they believe that they were sent there basically because the Uigiri were mining min minerals from the caves to make weapons. I didn't, that wasn't. See that I didn't have. I, I didn't see. Have. I I was I was thinking about doing a shot in the dark, cause but mining sounded too generic. So I was like, I'm not like fucking mining. Duh, they're in a cave. But it's yeah, like, they were they were mining minerals to make weapons. Uh, the gods were not down to clan with that, so they they sent the Matanga in to drive them out. Yeah, yeah. I I remembered that. Like I remembered the conversation. I just couldn't get the specifics. All right, I'm happy with a half a point. Okay. But okay. I mean, it's not like All I have right. a fucking choice. <laughs> I better be happy with it. Well, this one's for you. Okay. Uh, oh, this. Oh, actually, no. You should be around this one. This one's a little bit tough. You say that every time. Let's just get to the question. Uh, what are the three treasures brought together, which result in the summoning of Susano? Oh, Susano. I'm not going to remember the name of this dude. This was so long ago for me. It's like four or five months ago. Four point oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to like my brain's all four point one right now. Uh, I'm not going to remember. Even if you can't give me the names of all three of them, if you can tell me what they are, like what the objects are, then I can give you. A oh point. well, I mean, if I recall correctly, they were all they, they were all they were all uh, what's it called? Um, weapons, if I remember correctly. See, I don't remember this. I feel like one was a sword, one was a spear, and one was something else. It's just a matter of remembering what that was. Okay. Um, what's the last one? Uh, I don't think the last one was a shield. Because I think he uses... Or is, is the, the last one might have been an adornment, like a head adornment. I'll just make that, I'll just make that my guess. It's been, I, I definitely didn't prepare for that at all. So I'm going to say sword, spear, and, uh, and head adornment. Which okay, you reckon sword, spear, and some sort of crown or or something like that? Yeah, it's circlet does you know any any sort of okay. head All adornment. Right. Well, one one of them was a sword. Yeah, obviously. I knew the sword. I don't um, the other two at all. Uh, the other two are not correct. Yeah. so I can't. Get... What do you think, Sly? Sly, you might be good it. off. You might be good on this one. In the story, didn't we have to get one of the? We did. Didn't, yeah. We brought the third one to to the spot. Wasn't it a? Wasn't yeah. it a? 
It was us bringing was, the third one that basically completed the. It was like, yeah. Either I want to say a crystal or a a gem. Okay, I I would I would accept those as being synonymous. Okay. So what would then, the third one be then? If I remember correctly, the third one. I think the third one was a mirror. Is that your guess? That's my guess. Okay. Um, can you tell me the names of the? Oh fuck you! You can kiss my ass oh, on that. Listen, he should. <laughs> he'll give you, got, you half a point. I have a feeling. You got you. Got, you got a half point. If you can give me something else, if you can give me like a little bit more detail, I'll give you a whole point. About what specifically? Items. About what they are. About where they're from. Um, just, just anything, anything else you might know about them. Okay, I think the the red cogen had the mirror. We had to get the gym. Um, uh-huh. The sword, like pretty much everybody and their mom had the sword at one point. Um, <laughs> yeah, at one point, that um, sword got passed around. <laughs> I know that's the thing. His sword got passed around so many times. Like, what do you want me to say about the sword? Um, uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah the the red coach and really originally had the sword too, but then um, Yahtzee you got the sword for um, Xenos, and then Xenos obviously got the sword and used it as well. And yeah, that's all. Oh I can wow, tell you. I should really know the name of the sword then. Yeah, now I know the name of the sword. I've yeah. I know, I, I am going to give you a half point. So what what I was looking for basically, I'll name them for you. Uh, the sword is called the Amino Murakumo. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Right. Gonna literally get the name of one of the ads in the yeah. Xenos fight yeah in Xenos um, fight yeah the uh the mirror is called the yata no kagami and the jewel is called the yasakani no magatama uh now these are um uh significant because basically they're the three uh imperial treasures of japan um, which are all associated mm. with the, the real sort of Japanese mythological Susano. Uh, and they're all kept in the, uh, in the Imperial Palace. So if you could have given me any of that information, I would have given you the full point. But that's, that's good, yeah. I, I mean, you got it, yeah. It's a sword, a magic mirror, and a jewel. So this next one is also going to be slides. Hooray. Oh, wow, this is an easy one. Oh God! You really say that every time. Said that oh no, no, time. this one is really easy. Uh, which aura site did the Warrior of Light and Company find? Oh. In area? Which one was it? Wait. When we were down in Lazaria, in Rabanasta, underneath Rabanasta, which aura site did we find down there? Damn! I completely forgot the zodiac on it. Well, that's what I want to know. <sighs> Haps looks a, a combination of disappointed and glad. No, be- no. So the thing is, <laughs> I my answer is is I'm trying to. I hold. I'll just. I'll leave. I'll stay. Yeah, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Because I have so many. Like, not. I wouldn't say so many, but a few choices. I just forget what you have. Twelve. You have twelve. You have thirteen 12. choices. Yeah, actually. I have 12. <laughs> Well, Zodiac, I don't think, has one no. for us at this point. I can't remember the fucking Zodiac. Well, then you've got 12 to guess between. Well, wait, 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 wait. Come on, get it. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Just say one of the two it could be. There's only really two it can be. Taurus. Yep. There you go. There you go. I honestly, I was like, there's no way he doesn't by the end. But there's no way I get this past to me. There's no way I end up getting to answer this. Um, someone yeah. just made the point, and that, and that is quite true, that uh, Susano's sword and uh, the one that Xenos get are actually two different things. The, the sword that Xenos is given is one that is from the treasure vault of the Red Coach. But it's, but it's not. You know, not the same okay. sword. Different sword. Okay. Yeah. Slightly different sword. Um, okay. Mike, this one's for you. Okay. Alma and Ramza both share the name Bas Lexentail. 
What does the title boss designate in Garland? I always, I always, <laughs> I always get the this garlic. question. I've never not gotten the question about the middle name, and I've also never gotten it right. Oh, um, um, science. Uh, no, no. Um, no, scientist is different. <laughs> scientist. Well, they're not. They're not scientists. Are no, they? they aren't. No, that's why I was gonna. Well, I mean, I started thinking that because Sid and you know went to school together. Kind of thing. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I'm sorry to do that. Um, well, they're playwrights. You know, they're playwrights. They're performers. Well, I'm talking about the names of his children. Yeah, I know you're talking about the the designation, the 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 hierarchical designation yeah. of their family. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, can I ask a quick question? When is that decided? Is that decided at birth? Depending on what you're um, what you're born into, you can. Uh, I mean, it is decided at birth, but you can also like climb the ranks. The ranks, right. yeah. Um, I oh God, there's so many of them. Even guessing. I mean, obviously, a a, a Vaughn isn't born a Vaughn. A Legatus isn't born a Legatus. Yeah, 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 you're not born a Legatus. Well, I mean, I was yeah. I was assuming like if a Legatus had a child, what the what the child would be born into. They wouldn't thing. necessarily have the same name. Yeah, okay. Um, boss, 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 boss. Mm-hmm. All right. I, I, I guess it's a little too generic. I was, I was going to go in the, in the route of, um, because they're playwrights, uh, I guess entertainers, in a sense, like, uh, I, that's not the right. That's not the word I want. It's just the only word that's coming to mind. Okay. Um, so. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go with historian actually. Historian, you reckon Bus designates a historian? Well, consider I'm I'm thinking that the only reason they're even in the whole or like thing. an academic of some sort. Yeah, and like an academic, a scholar. Okay. Scholar. Those would all fit into the same rank. All right. Uh. Well, it's not. Not strictly that. It's not strictly that. Okay. Well, no. sort of there. Sly, you want to have a go? I think I actually looked this up the day of, like, right after I did it. I still um, have the chart that Ethis literally sent to us from the forums. Like, <laughs> now. It's in the encyclopedia, too. And it's in, yeah, it's in, I don't know where mine is right now, though. Appalling. Not since we've moved. Now they. They are playwrights, but didn't they actually oh, handle the, the excavation? Playwrights, are they? No, no, they're not so playwrights. Begging the question here. Daddy's yeah. a playwright. Daddy's a playwright, but didn't they handle the excavations? He can't tell you know. that. Did they? God damn it! I'm, I'm gonna say merchants. Okay. Okay. That's a um. A merchant would be a bus, but bus is not a designation for merchants. It's something a lot broader than that. It's like middle class, it sounds like. Almost. So if I'm going to keep my guess in terms of excavations, I'm going to say miners. Miners who actually sell the materials they collect. That's just as specific as merchants. Um, I think that miners probably would fall into this class. So they're bo a little bit of both is what you're telling it's, me? It, what, there's, what he's saying is all these things... All well, these professions that you're saying are professions that might fall within, but... Mm -hmm. But none of them define what boss is. If it's that broad, I have no clue. Okay, I think... I think that might deserve a half point for giving me, like, other examples of boss. What do you, what do you think, Mike? Is that reasonable? You, that's not fair to ask me. I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say no. a half point. Uh, bus basically designates uh, lower class citizen. 
Oh, yeah. really? Where's then I was father? all. Then I was almost right when I said middle class. I just have to go down one. More. Whereas their father is a sen rather than a bus, C E N, which designates basically a, a upper middle class citizen. Middle class. See, as soon as you said merchant, I started thinking middle class. That's why I said it. I shouldn't have fucking said it out loud. I almost gave him the fucking answer. Uh, so they're only one uh, rank above an arn, which is a non citizen yeah nonsense they're like literally bottom of the pile again because you the, the what one of the points one of the tenants i guess of the Galen hierarchy is that you're not supposed to kind of earn anything by by birth alone so it's funny because i did prepare for a question about one part of their hierarchy one specifically that is mentioned a few times in 4.0 and in 4.1, but that, right. was, that was not the one that I picked. Which one was it? I'm not telling you, because it could still be one of the questions. Okay. All right. Um, okay. This is uh, this is Mike's question, yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait. No, because yes. I get No, yeah, no, that, no that's his, because I guessed... Um, that's why he ended that question when I passed it. So it's his um. question. Did you have a guess for? Yeah, I guessed. I guessed first. I'm because I guessed. Um, I guessed historian. Oh right, yeah, you yeah. guessed historian. No, that's, that's Sly's question. That's right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sly's is yours. I want to know where Ivelisse is in reference to the geography of Orthard. If I showed you a map of Heidelin and I told you to <laughs> point to Ivelisse, where would you point? Sly, you're landing on all the good questions this week. You know that, right? You say good questions, but I don't remember this shit. I mean, we'll see. It's... It's... It's desert. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a desert. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to waste time on this. Go ahead. Go what ahead. do you mean? Don't try. You got okay. Your... All right. So this wait, just to be clear, do I need to name the geography? Because if it's naming the geographical area, I gotta understand that problem. No, I, I want you to tell me where it is in reference to things around it. Basically, if I showed you a map, if I showed it's you the, the map, isn't it in the clouded area in the west where we literally discussed it was like a million? If it's that's the, not the answer, that's my that's my guess. It's in that. Cloud okay. area to if the. That's your um, guess. You need to be a little bit more specific. Okay. Um. So you, what's? I always forget the name of it. I always have to ask you the 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 part that's like burned to the ground where we think the play encountered the, the burn. Primal. Yeah. Oh, it's called the burn. Okay. I always forget. The um. There's there's like a mountain range that's like that cuts it off from the rest of Author to the west of it in a sense. Okay. It's just to the west in a desert to the west of that. So you think it's to the west of the burn? Yeah. A little more south than west, but like there's that that chunk of the continent right there is almost like uh, how do I describe it? That part that we haven't seen. It's like there's a huge chunk down here that's like kind of off the like Favner is to the mm -hmm. direct west of it, and then there's mm -hmm. like a huge stretch of like clouds, and then there's also the uh, the part of those clouds that are also part of uh, Aldenard itself, yeah. whatever it's called. Um, so just to the to the to the west of the burn, a little bit south, also. Uh, you know, what? I'm going to give you a half point because you're right. It is, it is in that clouded area. It's basically to the south of the burn. They, they say, the they say beyond, uh, Naxia and Naxia yeah. is that region south of Yangshia, yeah. which is at the mouth of the burn. So it's just beyond that. So it's basically to the southwest of Doma. It's in that, that sort of, uh, around that Southern Cape of yeah. Othard. That's where the desert is. The desert of the That's a good way to call it a cape. Because I was like, I was thinking of the shape yeah. of it, but I couldn't think of a good name for the shape. All right, so I'll give you a half point for that. Okay. Um, I don't know why they didn't just reveal the rest of the map. Um, because we've been there now. Well, we've been to just south of the burn. There's still that whole huge stretch that we haven't seen. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe, and it's maybe possible not. they don't want to reveal because that's the homeland of the Banga. Hey. Oh. That's my question. Yeah, just reveal it. I mean, they should just reveal the whole fucking map. Who cares, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Fuck it. New um, World, Maricidia, everything. Yeah, just show us. Why not? Because they haven't made it all yet. Nope. <laughs> Shut up, Ethis. Um, all right, Mike, this is your one. Okay. 
the Kojin News Ambergris found floating on the Ruby Sea to produce incense. What is the origin of this substance? Oh, the origin shit. I was, I was Ambergris. So... Ambergris? That's, um, is that the stuff you get in the Flotsam quests? No, the Flotsam quest is the, uh, is the different one. There's a different quest where you have to grab floating shit off the top of the Ruby Sea. And I was thinking of that one. There's a few quests like that. Yeah, there's ones where you have to grab literally debris. There's ones where you have to grab the... There's, uh, like, buoys kind of thing. There's, like, floating bags. And then there's ones where you have to go into the clams. So what's the origin of that? So when you yeah. say the the origin, do you I'll mean, you, like... I'll give you a clue here. No, no, well. no. I, can, I, can I... Before you give me a clue? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, is, do you mean the, like, where the plant originates from or why they started... Or how they started using said plant? No, I want to know where the stuff comes from. The actual plant. The ambergris. The ambergris. I want to know where it comes from. Yeah. And I'm going to give you a clue that it's not the same. It doesn't have the same origin as it would in real life, like in our world. That's... <laughs> I don't know why. You think... may or may not help you. It's good, in... it's good information, but yeah. it's... in no way helps. Uh, so they just find the ambergris. But it's not native to the Ruby Sea, it sounds like, based on this question. Because if it was, you wouldn't have to ask me where it originates well, from. Well, they find it, like, floating, floating yeah, yeah, yeah. on the surface of the Ruby Sea. They find it floating on the surface of the Ruby Sea. Oh, that gives me a guess that is... <laughs> it's the first thing that comes to mind, guess, and has no education mm -hmm. behind it whatsoever. So, okay. if it's wrong, it's whatever. I wasn't going to have a good answer anyway. <laughs> I start to think it's the Confederacy that's dropping it there as part of their trade routes. Like, it's just, like, lost lost by the Confederacy at oh, some point. Oh, it's just shit that's falling off the back of the boat. It's either house. shit that's falling off of the back of the boat, or it's, like, the it's like leftovers that they just fucking don't need. I, I don't know, that was the first thing that came to mind, because I didn't have an educated guess otherwise, and I just started thinking about, okay. how would something get to the Ruby Sea if it doesn't originate in the Ruby Sea? And I think of the Confederacy okay. because it's because of trade. Okay. So, I, right. want, I want to blame them for it, whatever it is, but why, okay. what's actually causing it to be there, I couldn't answer. I can only guess that the Confederacy is responsible, in a sense. Okay, well, uh, I can't give you that one. Okay, that's fine. It's a sly. Sly's thinking very intensely. <laughs> I'm going to be really... My guess was going to be as... As just... It's going to be ridiculous. Um, sly, that doesn't matter. It does! <laughs> no, it doesn't. Somewhat. No, it doesn't. These are so often ridiculous. Yeah. Garlean experiment planted by Garleans. That doesn't sound crazy at all. See, why the fuck do you say this? A Garlean experiment to to what? Like a byproduct? Oh. Is that where you're going for a Sly? Not else? really. You know how. You know when um what's a real world equivalent when someone Amber colonizes is a world equivalent yeah it is a thing i <laughs> only know that thing. i only no, know no, that saying, because of the clue he gave me but you know. no no i'm just saying like in in terms of a real world equivalent equivalent to what i'm saying like when someone mm -hmm. colonizes a place and then they bring like a crop native to their land to the new land they colonize something like okay that. oh so you think it's some sort of foreign Thing introduced by the Garlands. Yes. Okay. Well, I can't give you that either. Okay. okay. So am ambergris in the real world is a uh, an ingredient used in a lot of perfumes. Um, that's basically the uh, it's it's the secretion of the intestine of a whale. Um, and whales poop it out and people scrape it off the surface of the sea and they use it in perfumes. Um, ambergris on the Ruby Sea is apparently secreted by the guts of dragons that uh, flying over drop it. I was going to say, how often are dragons yeah. flying over the Ruby Sea? I've never Ruby seen dragons. Not often. Not okay. often. We know that there are dragons in Arthard. Yeah. Uh, we know that there's some in the mountains uh, north of the steppe. Yeah. But it is a very, very rare and valuable ingredient. And that's why the Kojin uh, want us to find it and collect it. Nice. Yeah. Poop. Dragon poop. Yeah. Well, it's not poop. It's like... Uh... I Well, don't, trust me, saying the word secretion doesn't sound way any better. Yeah, but it's not, it's not poop. 
Well, there's, all, there's, there's a couple. Poop. There's a couple. I mean, it depends. Have you ever, like, you ever uh, had uh, taco night? Trust me, you can secrete poop. They, yeah. they, it can come out of either end. It's um, it's something more specific. Well, that just sounds like diarrhea when you say that. It can come out. Of, <laughs> it can come out of any end. No, it's like know? a. It's it's like a. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's a bodily fluid. Let's just call it that. Yeah, it's a fluid. Yeah. It's a fluid. It's yeah. not. It's not poop. It's not like bits of food. It's it's like the lining. But it's also it. not water soluble because if it was, they wouldn't be able to pick it up from. Yeah, well, it'd be like trying to, you know, let's let's move on. <laughs> Slice question. <laughs> all right sly uh for what historical feat is the hingan clan kagekakushi most famous repeat that you broke us so the, the kagekakushi clan it's a hingan clan mm -hmm. some historical feat some some thing that they've done some thing that they're responsible for for which they are most famous kagekakushi Like this, like, 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 I don't, I don't, well, I remember hearing the name, but escapes me now. This, one, this one's tough, but I think I know it. Kushi. I'm drawing a complete blank. I think I know the answer, and if it is what I think Go it ahead. is, I no, no, no. I want you to guess because I, I, I don't think there's any way to like figure this out just by randomly guessing. This is not one I think you could just guess. But I'm I, curious. That's the thing. That's what just I guess can't. something. I just guess. guess something. Something from the Far East, Sly. Something. You, you can you can extrapolate from the name of the clan. God. That would require us to have some knowledge of. If you knew any oh. groups, yeah. If I knew any what. If you knew any of the moon runes, Japanese. If you could speak moon, come on, channel your inner weep. <laughs> <laughs> you have a shirt that you have a shirt that says Yasakami on it. Channel it. That's a good point. Yeah. If you could speak moon, then uh, you'd find a clue in the name. <sighs> if, I could, if I could do moon speak, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Not that I'm, I'm not fluent in moon speed. Sorry. Go ahead, Mike. All, All right. right. I, I, I've only got one guess, and I hope I'm remembering. Did they not create it? I guess that's maybe not the right word for it. Did mm -hmm. they, they create the substance that's used for ninjutsu? They found a ninjutsu. They found it, like the whole art? Oh, I was good. Well, I mean, you just answered it for me, so. Oh, was... oh, well, you're you're talking to someone who hasn't even no, leveled their. Run. I haven't leveled my ninja either. This expansion, I've watched other Have people you... level. No, it. no, no, no level it. Knowing that they were responsible for the origins of ninjutsu was was okay. Like, that's an acceptable answer. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were. Um, yeah, so they found ninjutsu, and subsequently, during the Age of Strife, they. Kicked a lot of butt. See, I would have never seen that. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> um, and Sasuke was of that clan. Sasuke was the one that traveled to Doma and brought ninjutsu to Doma and founded the, the village. Don't make the fucking Naruto Ooh. jokes. We already have his blade. It has a story behind it. It's already there. They're it's already part there. of the Zodiac Braves. Yeah. No, no Naruto's. Don't do it. All right. I wasn't even. I was just then what so were you wild. laughing about? Mike gets a point for that. He was yeah. laughing at Sasuke. Yeah, that's what I was laughing yeah, at. Like, yeah. It's a fucking, fucking Japanese weeb. name. You fuck, you're the fucking weeb for laughing at Sasuke. You got. Uh, you both got a point each. What do you mean? Okay, now this currently? is the next question. Yeah, you both got a point each currently. But what about uh, the half points? points? Two points. You both got two points oh, each. Oh, okay. I misspoke. Um, okay, so this is uh, this is Mike's, and this question comes from Evander Advent. Oh, I'm fucked. His questions fuck me every time. 
As if all the questions don't fuck me. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this. I don't think this one's difficult. I think this one's pretty easy. Um, okay. Let me let me just find it again. Make sure that I, I word it uh, more or less the same way. Okay. Why was why was uh, Yugiri banished from Swinosato? Why was she banished from Swinosato? Yeah, she was banished. I forgot that she was banished. I thought she just she just left. <laughs> no, nope, she was straight up banished. She's straight up uh, banished because that's the that's the home place. So just a reminder, everyone. She's, so you know, Sato she is, can never go she, back there. She can never She's go not. back there. Her parents. We met her parents. Mm -hmm. Um, shit. So that's from the that's you learn that around level sixty two in the main scenario quest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Why was she banished? That's actually not that hard of a question. It's just you already saw no. Fail Susano, and it's at the exact same part of the story, pretty much. Um, why was she <laughs> banished? That's a tough one. It's not, but to deduce it, it is. Um, she was banished. For revealing the location to outsiders. Well, revealing the, lo revealing no, the location. That's not right. Oh, that's, I already fucking said it, so I can't take it back. It's not right, but I already fucking said no, it. No, that's not right. Well, you you would think that if she did that, then the empire would be there. So no, it's not take that. It. All right. All right. You want to take guess? Yeah, this was around the time of um because we get um It's literally you get swimming and you go to Sweden Osado and you learn this. Like it doesn't yeah, take yeah. very much. This is around yeah, this is around She Sweet. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what her parents said. Ugh. God, this was so long ago. It's not really, but we just didn't commit it to memory. No, it's we not didn't. very long ago at all. It's really not. What did her parents say? Because <sighs> they were. I'm trying to remember while they were, but that's too far back. Mm -hmm. Think aloud. I thought aloud and I got shut down. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You get shut down too. All right, I'll give you thirty seconds then. <clears throat> Talk me through it, Sly. What are you, what are you thinking? You got 17 seconds. I think it has some. I want to say it has something to do with Hien, but I'm wrong. Uh, it's that's too much of a broad answer. Um, but Hien found her, so yeah, I have no clue. Yeah, go. Yeah, go ahead. Is that a pass? That's a pass. It's not even a pass. That's the last I already tried. Okay. Um, yeah. So she left to learn ninjutsu and to join the fight against the Empire. I fucking moved away from saying that she left because you said she was banished so I didn't oh she was banished because she I was gonna fucking yeah. that's why I said that oh I thought she left he said no she so, was banished fuck god so damn it she, she was banished because she made the decision to leave <laughs> I was like, right but I went with it no god um, damn it well was it just that she left but I that know. she left to I, I said the right thing, but when you said she was banished, I threw out because I was like, oh, I thought she left to fight the Empire. And I thought that like that was the yeah. end of it, not that she was banished because of that. No, she was banished okay. because of that. God but fucking she, damn it. Never go back. Because the rest of Sweden Osado are very uh, sort of xenophobic and uh, uh, they don't want any fight with anyone for any reason. Fucking Christ. Mm -hmm. I literally threw my guess out. I was like, oh, she was. She left. No, she was banished. Okay, well, yeah. fuck what I was gonna say. <laughs> fuck. I need some. Right. I need some green tea after speak. that. <laughs> oh my 
god. I thought you made yourself some green tea. No, dude. You're just no. drinking a jug of iced tea. It's it's iced green tea, though. Oh my god. Oh, that's much better, then. Um, alright. Sly, this this is like... I don't know why I've got this on the eastern section, because this is not... This question's got nothing to do It's a western? With, yeah. But I guess you can consider it a, a bonus question. Um, oh, this is a tough one. Okay. Oh, fuck you. What, what, what is, uh, what's Melwib's favorite wine? Mm, oh, I should remember this shit. You, what do you mean, you should remember it? It was, I think it was a part of... I think it was a part of Conan? And you remember yeah. those? <laughs> I <don't> Somewhat? <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> All I remember is Nanamo and the Goldsmith one, man. What is the name of the wine? Yeah. Yeah, what kind of it's wine It's fitting is... that you would get this one, Sly. We, yeah, we know is. what kind of wine it is. We know what its name is. We know who made it. We know too many things about this wine. So I just uh, I want to know what wine it is. Not mold wine. Well, mulled wine's more of a cocktail. Yeah. But I see it come up every so often in the game. Yeah. It's a specific. Yeah, she does like an actual specific wine, Sly. Yeah, yeah. That's, what that's what I'm saying. Like, it's. But mm -hmm. we've seen this outside of the quest. It's actually. Is it. I think it's actually a. A, a mat. Is it a mat? You can't tell you that. Is it a what? Damn it. Is it a material? A material on something. A crafting material. I cannot tell you that. And I don't know. <laughs> Like the one wine that comes to mind. Don't say Realm or Borg Red. It is a red. It is a red. Is it a... The only thing I can think of. Is it a Loman Red? A Loman? Yeah. That's the only name that comes to mind. That's the only name I remember in terms of wines. There's another red that I can think of, but... It's, I think it's a breath. Loman. Um, so where, where have you heard the name Lo, Loman? Where are you getting this name from? Limsa Lominsa. Okay. She can, she can only get it at the bars in Limsa Lominsa. I mean, well, you probably can get it anywhere else. Okay. You are so close. You're, you're literally one letter off. You're missing Lom one letter. Loman. Loman. Lomani? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's Lomani Red. That's the name of the wine. Now, why why does that name sound familiar to you? Because it should sound familiar to both of you. Only Sly would remember alcohol. Fuck you. Lomani. <laughs> Why do we know that name? You're, you're getting the full point for that. That's. I mean, it's right. Of course he's getting that's the full point. It's, it's such a sly answer, pulling that one out of nowhere. But the only reason I can think of it is because Limsa Lominsa and Loman. Okay. All right. So um, does the name Shimani Lamani mean anything to you? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Makes me laugh. <laughs> Shimani Lamani was a member of the Company of Heroes who fought Titan and subsequently became blinded. Um, we went to him as, as uh, part of our quests for the Company of Heroes leading up to Titan uh, to procure a wine for the, uh, for the, for the banquet. banquet. And subsequently we rediscovered the... Um, the uh, Bacchus vine, right? Mm -hmm. But he was an amateur vintner um, and he was making a red wine, uh, which just happens to be Moab's favorite wine. Had you said, I, had you not said I was one letter off, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. 
I probably would have given you the point because like like I say, you're one letter off and that was ridiculous. Um, so uh, yeah, it was referenced in the Realm Reborn quest. It's not the wine that we use. We do actually find this, this legendary uh, uh, Bacchus um, vine cutting on the back of a, a Gubu, which everyone thought was extinct. Um, and subsequently we, we managed to procure like one of the last of this special vintage Bacchus for the, uh, for the feast. But his, his red wine, his Lamani red is my wife's favorite. So you get that right. Congratulations. I don't know how you did that, but that's ridiculous. It's alcohol. I told you. <laughs> yeah. I remember right. hearing like seeing the name. Even Loman. fictional alcohol. <laughs> Yeah, I remember the, seeing the name Loman Red, and plus we have like a wine as uh, crafting uh, materials. There's another red. I can't remember the name of it. But it's only red. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, all right. Okay. Cool. Good for you, man. All right. So that, that's the end of the first section. We've got Mike on two points. We've got Sly on three points. We're coming into the second section titled West. And uh, Mike, you're first. Great. Great. <laughs> I like going first both we're, rounds. We're so excited for this. So you can tell. Uh, you can hear the excitement in our voice. What, what was the original purpose of Hidden Tier in the Northern Peaks? Hidden Tier in the Northern Peaks? In the Northern of the Peaks of Giramania. Yeah, the Northern of the Peaks. Hidden uh, Tier. Hidden Tier is um, the place of the Northeast? Like it's east of Ala. Uh, okay, yeah, a little bit. Um, this is a sightseeing log. This isn't, this isn't one of the new site. It. It's not one of the new sightseeing logs. I can tell you. Actually, oh no, it's not. Okay, it's not one of the new sightseeing logs. But it's a sight. I think this is a sightseeing log. Um, if I'm not mis, no, I think that's in a different spot. It would have been my guess, though, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, Hidden Tear is a... Uh, a isn't that the... Uh, it's not the waterfall. It's Oh, wait, no. Hidden Tear is... Okay, so I th I'm i thinking Hidden Tear is one of two places. I know what area of the map it is, but I don't remember if it's the spiral that goes up with the, with the dudes or if it's the waterfall that's literally right there. Um... Because the spiral, I don't know. When I think spiral, spiral with the dudes, spiral with the dudes, <laughs> the dudes. Spiral. That's what it's, it's got. It's got the fat dudes and it's got the the mono the monolith dudes, the fucking demon wall dudes. Um, <laughs> the dude spiral. I'm gonna go. Are with, you Maximilian dude right now? Yeah, I mean? just they're dudes. <laughs> what do you want from me? They're dudes. I yeah, can, I think I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with the waterfall at least because it's fucking water and it's tear. Um the purpose oh, is it the waterfall itself or is it the th that thing at the top now Ethis, let me ask you you said the purpose of mm -hmm. it, right? yeah the, the purpose original. he's not asking me what it because i don't know if it's the, the waterfall or there's there's something on i think on top of the waterfall too um i'm gonna just say that uh it's used as a hiding place like the behind the waterfall itself there's like uh, you can't really go much behind the waterfall, but I was just gonna go something along the lines of like uh, the waterfall is used as like uh, as a, like a hiding place for for see for Sly if you know it that's gonna be good for you. I think I can logic it. I think yeah, I okay. think you probably can. You can I'm definitely gonna, logic it. Yeah, it's definitely logic it. I mean, hidden tier, hidden hidden, like. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck with the shrine at the top because I don't know if it's the waterfall or if it's the shrine or whatever the fuck it is. The top of the waterfall. The shrine at the top of the waterfall was was hidden from. Uh, what was it used for? What was the shrine of actually about? Uh, the fists. It's a hidden place to worship the fist of Ralgar. I'm gonna go with that. I don't I don't I don't have anything. Specifically, the shrine at the top of the waterfall. Okay, that's that's a pretty good guess. Um, I am going to palm that off the slide. Saw that coming. 
left it at suspense. The only way I can logic this mm -hmm. is through the name. Yeah, that's what I did. Hidden tear. Oh shit, they were crying. Hide the tears. Okay. Now, if you're saying it's the waterfall, the waterfall would. Keep in mind, I said it's the waterfall. So I, yep, I yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Literally, so don't 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 pay any mind to what I said because I got it wrong. Think of think this through for yourself. But I'm kind of piggybacking off it. Okay, a little bit. That's fine. The water the waterfall would be used to hide sorrow, hide sadness. So the waterfall will be used to hide sorrow, hide sadness. Okay, the question is, what is the purpose of Hidden Tear? Not the origin. Which is way easier to logic. Is it a hidden place where people can hold a memorial? A Good memorial logic. for for what? Death. Okay. You know what? That's half a point. I'm going to give you each half a point because okay. it's not the waterfall. It is the shrine. Okay. Mike got that. And, and Sly, you extrapolated the rest. Yeah, they're hiding the tears. It's, it's basically a place where they can go and perform funerary rites that have been banned. Uh, by the Galian Empire is yeah, and the waterfall like itself the actually tears. legitimately hides the tears. The water, yeah. Well, it's it's more that it's like it's like hidden, hidden up above. It's the actually water. hidden. Yeah. It's got dual yeah. meaning. So, what? Wait, disappointed. You both got half a point. That's pretty. Yeah, good. but I yeah, I could have gotten the death <laughs> thing too if I had thought more about the tear yeah. in the form of like human tears and less about Probably. the landmark. Probably. Um, all right, so this one's for you. Uh, I guess while while we're in that region, oh, this is a real question. Um, yeah. While we're in uh, around uh, Girbanya, I mean, um, where was mm -hmm. the stone for the royal palace of Alamigo sourced? Stone for the royal palace of Alamigo. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of stone used in the building of the royal palace of Alamigo. Specific location. Mm hmm Very specific. Where does it look like they took away a lot of them? <laughs> am I stupid or am I thinking that the... We're talking, we're talking about the royal palace in the royal Japan, palace yeah. of Valamigo. Please don't. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. I want to say the locks, but that's probably too broad, and it's even more specific. You're in, you're looking for an answer that's more specific, and it's probably wrong. I am right. looking for an answer that's more specific. Yes. Actually, I don't even know if I'm right, but I just want him to be wrong. <laughs> it's not very nice. Jeez. Hey, I'm losing. This is a competition. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, thanks. I'll defer. I'll defer. All right. Okay. Mike, okay. what do you think? So the only location I could think of, and the only reason I'm thinking of it is because we just talked about Hidden Tear, and I said it was one of two areas, the spiral. Mm -hmm. It's that spiral, isn't it? That spiral with all the, the monoliths and the, the stones that are chipped away at the top. The, the, the spiral. What it was. So, the spiral um, with the dudes. The spiral with the dudes. Okay, so the problem is that you probably want the, <laughs> the name. Dudes. Um, so <laughs> it's in the very northeast of the peaks, and when you climb up it, there's all the the monoliths. You know, the 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 enemies that are the giant stones that look like the demon walls that just kind of float around. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, the name of it. If 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 I if I could get half a point for even just getting the location, because the name of it is totally something I don't know. But that's that location 
at the top with those enemies there. And there is also um, an ether current at the very top in the final little spiral of stones that you have to jump around. Okay, you know, Wait. I, I will Go give ahead. you half a point for that. I will give you half a point for that because the uh, it does come from the Quarry of Alagana. Okay. Because um, that's that, that quarry. That mind. one I, in the, I, I was in the northeast is like, that's like a, a secondary quarry. So the, the Quarry of Alagana oh, was okay. established to source stone to build the city and the palace. Um, and uh, once they'd quarried out stone from like the cliffside there, they built the town into that space. Okay. And then they set up that, that other quarry uh, up past right. Hidden Tier. Okay, so I knew they used that. I, knew, I know they used that quarry for something, but mm -hmm. that's so that's the only the only thing. I just had no idea what the name of it was. No, that's all right. That's a half point. Um, okay, so this one's for you as well, and we're Yay. staying in. Okay. I want to know why the Nila cores are so precious to the settlers of Alagana. The Nila cores. Nila. The Nila. So there's a mob around there called Anila, yeah. and they use their cores something in Alagana, something very, very, very important to them. Um, so, Ali wait, is Alagana the one on the north or the one on the... Because I always get them mixed up. Alagana's the one in the north. Okay, like so Alagana's, Alagana's still the one in the north. Because um, mm -hmm. there's beetles, scorpions, the, the monoliths, the, the fat dudes. The dudes. Actual, yeah, the Anila. Dude Spire. <laughs> um, you have the Dudes. you have the butterflies. You have the Wemoras. Oh, the Anila are um, fuck. What are they called? I just killed one, like today when I logged in when I was doing my sightseeing logs too. Uh, those are the. How do I describe them? They like remind me of like I whenever I see them I think of the I think of ghosts but they're not like ghosts they're just ghost-ish like when I see them that's just the first thing I think of. Are you thinking like, of the little the little green ones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what's yeah. precious about? I just, I was just getting to that because I was trying to remember what fucking mob it was in the first place. Those um, are the Anilas. Okay, yes. Yeah. Um, what is precious about them that is like vital? Cool. Their cores are vital yeah. to. They're, they're absolutely vital to the survival of Alagana. All right. Best answer I've come up with. Probably not mm -hmm. right. As Sly and I like to say before every answer we give, so, mm -hmm. we, don't, so we don't sound like smart asses, mm -hmm. um, is it uh, creates a ward around it to keep basically the natural wildlife out of it. Okay. All right. So they so they use them to sort of to protect themselves, to f literally for um, for a magical ward to defend the city. Okay, that's a pretty good guess, but I can't give you that. Okay, no. then I think I know what the actual no. one is. What do you think, Sly? Also, sir, I'm like a bit of a cold. Don't worry, we noticed. No, you're fine. <laughs> Yeah, Neela. I'm trying to think what it specifically uh, they are. I just told you. We just told you what they were. <laughs> yeah, they're those little, little funny green dudes. No, um, that's what I'm trying. I'm just still trying to. I mean, oh, what? The like, yeah. It might help to think maybe of what element they yeah. are. Green. If I'm thinking green, I'm thinking wind. I'm colorblind, so I would have never got them. Actually, they cast air all on you, I think. Do they? Nice. I don't know what they cast on you, actually. A lot of stuff in near that area has to do with weather. It's near the Ziggurat. Yeah. It's, that had to do with the flood itself. Okay. Um... When he's done, before you tell us the answer, if he's not right, can I just take another guess for fun? Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm just going to say that they 
since they they have something to do with wind, they um, people use the cores for. It's gonna sound so broad, but weather manipulation. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Okay. No, no, um, no. Do, do they do they use the because? Can I first? Can I just because obviously at this point there's no points on the line. So, yeah. um, are they wind aspected? Just before I give my answer. No, I okay. don't believe so. I believe they were earth aspected. I believe so. Um, originally, when it was wind, I was gonna say because I just remembered. I completely forgot. Elgana has that fucking the fucking system on the on the wall where you have to climb up and you have to jump down for like all the different quests and shit. And I was when it was wind, I started thinking maybe they because they can make weapons with that because they can use that to erode stone and make things for self defense. The other thing I was going to guess is that there were mines up there and that they were using it to actually go into the mountains to get resources and shit like that. Um, still could be that for Earth, but that was going to be the secondary guess that I had. Okay. So, so what, what, do, what do like Earth elementals do? What do they feed on? The land. What specifically do they feed on? Rocks. They feed on Earth aspected ether. Yeah. Right. Oh, you mean like it's literally? A, okay. There yeah, literally. They yeah, they literally eat dirt and absorb dirt to fuel themselves. Now, quarrying uses a lot of water. You need to use a lot of water to um, erode, sort of clean and cut the rocks. Yeah. Um, and what you end up with is a lot of really muddy water, hmm. which you can't drink unless. You have something that can absorb all of that mud and dirt uh, in the water. I forgot that they were, honestly, until you were, I forgot there was even a quarry there. I'm not, like, I mean, like, other than the quarry we to the north. Literally no, 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 I mean, I mean, not that quarry. I mean, like, literally, I was thinking of, like, the, the things, like, literally in Allah. Not the, not the stuff to the northeast I was talking about. I mean, the thing that's, like, literally attached to it. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is a quarry. Um, and yeah, they use it to clean the water so they can have clean drinking water, um, and not have to compromise. I, their... I swear you, you've told us this before. That's all I know. Probably. You have told us not it was in the game. Probably. No, definitely. Um, all right. So this one, this one's for Sly. Yeah. What do you got in your sippy cup there, Sly? Sippy. Do you feel? Huh. Hashtag ad. Feel? Nice. Yeah. We don't sponsor uh, them, but you know, hashtag shout out. Uh, okay, we're still we're still in the <laughs> jug of tea. Listen, this is I my... have an empty jug of fucking. Pour, pour it into a glass. Right to me. Mel doesn't drink it, so I just fucking grab right. the whole thing. Okay, all right. Um, okay, Sly uh, Specula Imperatoris. Oh, don't ask it. I think you're gonna ask. In the peaks of Kir of uh, of Girmanio. it's still in the peaks. Mm -hmm. It consists mm -hmm. of three towers. Okay. A watchtower, a communications tower, and mm -hmm. an energy spire. Mm -hmm. the, the energy spire was built for a very, very specific purpose. I remember and this. I, I don't. I had a different answer lined up because I thought it was what was the a energy tower? Question. I hope I'm not wrong. It was built for ultimate weapon, wasn't it? Yes, it was built for the activation of Ultima. Easy one. Well done. Yeah. You got it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you. Oh, you boo. That's the whole point. Yeah. The, the whole even... point. The entire... <laughs> that was the fastest question and answer we've had ever. That was ridiculous. Because I actually remember this. All right, Mike. Oh, you're going to get this one for sure. Stop I think, saying I think, <laughs> No, 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 no. I really think, because I think you've talked about this before, actually. Just because I'm um, talking right. about it doesn't mean I'm smart enough to remember it. Mm -hmm. We'll see. There's, there's a fate in the fringes involving an unnaturally large sarcosuchus dubbed the crocoroid. What is the most popular theory of its origin? I've never spoken about this. I don't know why you yes, think that. Yes, you I've... have. <laughs> I think I've done the fate once. I have done that fate a grand total of one time i mean it's it's the crop <laughs> yeah. i fly over it and i go oh maybe i should do this at some point because it says in the description yeah. of the it says in the description of the fate the let the what they mm -hmm. think it is but i've 
never once spoken about it because I've only done you the fucking have... thing once. I remember very clearly you speaking about this because you thought it was hilarious. I thought it was hilarious what you told me it was. <laughs> you see, that's the thing. You spoke to me about it, and I commented on it. I don't. I've never committed. No, what I'm that... pretty sure. No, I'm pretty sure you were talking about it. Just take a guess. Take a guess, you muppet. Come on. I just don't like being wrongly accused of <laughs> accused <laughs> of knowing what the fuck this is about. Uh, the jug's not gonna help me here. So it's a giant, it's a giant sucker suckers. They call it the crocoroid. That's its name. I want to know what the most popular theory of its origins is. We don't know for sure if this is its origins, but it's what people. Okay, have... well, I've as someone who has never once committed this to memory and will now answer it, and that is my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, okay, I was I, all I could possibly come up with is uh, with the Garleans, um What's it called? The uh, Castrum Orients? Cash mm. Yeah. What's the Castrum right there? I always forget that. Veladina. No. The well, maybe what? it's that one. The one that the one that we we went through. Uh, I'm sorry. Belsar's Wall. Bell, the production of Belsar's Wall, okay. which is where Castrum Orients is. Um, the byproduct wow. the the uh, byproduct of their um, of the maintenance of that uh, was the 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 river that the Crocoroid is in. The Veladina. The, the, the Veladina. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. the thing. Was tainted by that, and this is a crocodile who just. Got swole off of it. Got so, so you think it's from a uh, runoff of uh, Ceruleum? I, I, well, I guess... Do I want to go with Ceruleum as the answer? I mean, that's the thing that they use to power fucking everything. Magitek included. So yeah, Ceruleum, Ceruleum tainting the uh, the waters of the Valdana. And he's just he just got swole off it. Okay, that's a pretty good guess. But not quite. No. Okay. Slap. Before my answer, I'm gonna do a question. Isn't the name of the the fate void rage? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Um. God, I actually remember reading this and finding this brief. Um. That's why I went with Ceruleum Enhanced in the Valdana because that's his role. It wasn't Ceruleum because. Oh yes. fuck! No, that's remembered. Oh no! All right. God damn it! All right, um, you God damn it! It wasn't Cerulean. <laughs> fuck! It, it was. It was performance enhancing elixirs. Yes. Um. Yes, it was. So. Basically, it's been eating discarded bottles of Garlean performance enhancers. Yeah. I was tossed. going with runoff. I didn't know it's there were bottles. Dynamo. Well, it's not, it's not so much runoff as like all their trash, all their discarded bottles just go into the river. And uh, the Saka Suckers has been eating them all. That's why it's called Crocoroid. Yeah. It's called Roid Ray, just taking Garlean steroids, basically. And it's gotten swole. Well done. Good job. And you knew that, didn't you, Mike? I told you you knew that. Do you remember now? You, you have talked about it. Specifically, I didn't talk about it. I thought it was funny when I found out what it was. Yeah. But I remember you talking about how you found it funny when you read the fate text. I remember that so clearly. I didn't tell you. You asked me if I knew about it, and I was like, yeah. And you're like, oh, I thought it was really funny. And I was like, yeah, it I is. Know. I have no recollection of said event. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, okay, where are we at? All right, Sly, this is for you. In the peaks, there are two small lakes named Grim and Enid. What are they named for? Wait, Grim what? and Grim Enid? and Enid, these two little little tiny lakes. In the Dude, peaks. okay. At this, I'm gonna tell you something real quick. You actually mm. gave us this exact question in the last one. No, I didn't. I did not. You know, what? I'm gonna double check, but I did not. 
Uh, nope. I can word for word practically nope. fucking repeat. Nope. Grim and Enid? Nope. Oh, you know what? No, I'm the wrong. I know. No, you know what? I know where we heard this. I can. I mean, I know. I literally know the answer word for word. But I. It wasn't you. It oh, was. It was somebody. It was somebody else. That's all I'll say. Okay. Well, Mike, since you know so much, because I'm at a loss. Grim and Enid were named after. There's two bodies of water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the peaks. Mm-hmm. And the peaks. And this doesn't have to do anything with Neoncrop's hope. I don't even think they're close by to Neoncrop. I mean, it's in the peaks. It's as close as you're going to be to yeah. the hope, but it's on the lower end. Yeah. Mm. Well, really? I have nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Go ahead. Uh, right. So I didn't hear this from Ethis. Koji said this at his at his lore panel. This was one I of... I can't believe you're confusing me. To be <laughs> fair, I hear more about lore from you than I do Koji at yeah. the time. Yeah, so they were they were two people who were basically just looking... Uh, by the way, this is this is back when the floods happened. This was this yeah. was back after... Yes. Yeah. So it does happen. Yeah, and basically they were... Uh, I think I'm probably going to screw up one part of this because I think I remembered it a little differently because I th remember having a discussion with you about this. But basically, there were two people who were just, you know, looking for high ground. They were trying to survive. But they were also, they were also, they, there was no, like, drinking water anywhere mm -hmm. for these two people. So, um, see, I remember me and you debating about this part because I could have swore I remember hearing this part as someone who was in the audience uh, mm -hmm. where they ended up basically, when they found water, those two lakes, each of them, uh, they died. Pretty much. <laughs> they died. I think it specifically was to them over engorging in the fresh water, and they like basically killed themselves from over engorging in it. And then other people found them after the floods dissipated, and then just named the lakes after them. Now I remember you talking about this. So yeah, much, yeah. sort of. Yeah, yeah. that's right. There's, yeah. there's only one piece missing, and that is I'm, I'm going to give you the full point. But one piece missing. Where where were they from? Where did they come from? Um. Mm. Which of the three nations were they from? Because they weren't Skullin. Um No, Skullin Skullin had been abandoned, uh, destroyed, but destroyed and abandoned. Basically they weren't Charlayan, were they? No, uh, no, no, no. Charlayan the, didn't exist. The only Charlayan is is Niamhcrep, pretty much. That, that, okay. well, he was like Charlayan. I point. mean, well, he the the hope, I guess you should say. Um, they yeah. were. This is a one in three guess because this I don't remember. Um, they were. Okay. Amdapori? Yeah, they were Amdapori. They were fleeing from Amdapor. Uh, like you say, they were dying of thirst, wandering around, lost in the mountains. Yeah. Uh, they came upon these lakes after several days and uh, drank drowned, too much too quickly. Drowned and, themselves, yeah. And drowned. And another party came and found them and went, ha ha, it's Grim and Enid. It's, <laughs> Classic Grim, classic Enid. <laughs> and they named the lakes after them. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Um, Sorry, Koji. Okay. Sorry, Koji. Yeah, point for that. Good job. I remembered that. I was in the I audience for that. It. If I, you were right there. yeah, I was like, I know the, I was like, I knew the answer. I was just like, no, this is Ethis. Mm -hmm. Ethis made me do this. <laughs> I'm glad that I, I get in your head. Um, okay, this one, this one's for you, Mike. Mm -hmm. Why are the Soblins of the Locks so much more aggressive than other Soblins? Uh, I always like that they're called Soblins. Mm -hmm. It's sad. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, okay, I had to laugh at that one. I'm sorry. If that was even an intended pun, well, they're, they're, they're sad goblins. They're sob. They're they're, they're soblin, man. <laughs> okay. Right. Um. So that why are they? Good. Why are they so much they're more? Like way more aggressive. They're like way more aggressive. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. A lot of the goblins outside of Old Dog don't attack you outside of the ones on Copper Bell Mines. They're literally all passive except for mm -hmm. the uh, the soblins. Also, they're level like one, and these ones are level sixty nine. Yeah, but that's you know that's not relevant. Um, it was, I mean, it, this is giving us a lore explanation for why they're like so again, or, so oops. ornery. Yeah. Um, I don't. I'm just gonna say I don't know the answer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say I've got I've got that situation. It's one of two things, and I'm gonna guess one, and it's gonna end up mm -hmm. being two. 
Uh, mm-hmm. I was gonna say it was a, a territorial thing. Like they've had like they've basically been aggravated by the Garleans and by the Alamegans and the area has generally just not been kind to them, but it's their home. Like the lot. Okay. The, the, uh, specifically the Soblins aren't in the lock cell. They're just to the West of the lock cell. If I remember correctly, I think maybe they bleed into the lock cell a little bit, but I know you encounter them before going all the way into, uh, I guess the actual salt fields. Okay. Um, so I I don't know. That's what I'm gonna go with. They've just been kind of pissed off over the ages by everyone fucking with their land. So it's a territorial thing. Okay, that might have exacerbated things, but that is not okay. a correct answer. So. That was just a guess. Sly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still laughing at that. That's um, to, they'll be glad to know that because they're sad isn't the answer. Yeah, I know. Um. Maybe it is. <laughs> no, because I have guess yeah. I have guess number two. So I'm 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 thinking it's guess number two, but it's too late now. You say and don't say medulla oblongata. <laughs> you said territorial, but I don't know. I'm gonna say it's because they're missing something. Because they're missing something. Okay. Yeah. That, I don't know what it is. But it can't be water because the lock, lock cell is nothing but Dude, salt water is not fun to yeah. drink, though, man. Also, I don't know that Doblins drink water. Come on, Sly. You know what? You know Easy what? Words. Come on. Is it because there's nothing but salt around them? Why would that? What effect would that have on? If you don't, why would that make them aggressive? Why would that make them aggressive? Mm -hmm. Because so I'll even say you're close. Like I'm proud that you got this far. If it's something as stupid as like they're allergic to salt, but I don't think that's it. Um, getting close. God damn I actually want to see you get this one right because I'm so impressed that you got because that was where that was my second. This is like along the lines of my second answer. You're mad because there's a lot of salt around and they can't take salt because they not allergic, but God damn it, salt. They ingest salt. Do they die if they ingest salt? I guess. Half a point, Hethus, because that's like uh, yeah, my I my think... second answer. My so I'll yeah. I'll say it. Uh, mm-hmm. It fucks. It just it just their digestive system just doesn't quite agree. Your digestive system. Oh my god. Well, god, okay. They're ornery. So, so they're um they're sulking. So they feed by absorbing ether. Yeah. Um and 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 you know eating rocks basically. Um mm-hmm. and the the ambient you know ethereal leaning of the land is so damn salty that it uh corrodes their bodies yeah. hmm. so, um, best. so they're in constant pain so they're sad <laughs> Soblins. no the soblin stands for salty doblins not sad doblins well it's, it can be both yeah salty you can be salty and sad at the same time that's why tears are salty yeah but yeah, that that that's right. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, so they're in constant pain. The the lock salt crystals cause corrosion to their bodies, and they are subsequently in constant pain. Okay. So, slide. Well done. Uh, slide. This one's yours. Yeah. A large painting You're in winning. the final the point. room of the ruins of Scala. Big painting. Yes. Portraits of whom? It wasn't Theodoric, was it? Is that your guess? That's the only guess that makes sense. It it was Theodoric. Why does that make sense? Because, um, Prodrick, who we actually ended up fighting. 
Project was the cousin. Correct. Yeah. We had this discussion word for word in the lore in yeah. the in, our, in the lore episode of four point one. Right. Yeah, so I'm gonna say it's Theodore. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, his, it's his treasure vault. Yeah, it's his treasure vault. So like, in the only but you think they want to keep the portrait of himself around, right? So, so we know that's Theodoric because the face matches the the head of his statue that's been smashed yeah. off. You can see the base of the statue uh, in the locks. Now, the next question you've kind of half already answered. But this is Mike's. Uh, the question is, who is Roderick Poison Tongue, and why? why was fine, he... Don't worry. I literally looked. We we said this word for word. He's he's yeah. the he's the cousin of the he's the cousin of Theodric, and he was trying yeah. to calm the the you know the worrisome nature of Theodric, and then it was seen as treason, and he was thrown in there to be a monstrous beast. Okay, can you tell me uh, which number he was in line for the throne? Fifth. Nice. Word for word. That one's, nice. that one's easy. Yeah. Nice. Okay, before we go into our bonus rounds, we got one more question. We have a so bonus round? Quiet. And this is, I'm pretty sure we talked about this in passing in the lore episode as well for 4.1. Uh, how did Aaron Vold escape Alamigo? Oh, this one's easy. If you don't get this one, Sly, I'll hate you forever. How did he escape? Ida. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Ida. Okay. More specifically. Ida allowed him, Ida, like, diverted ten- attention and allowed him to escape, basically. How? God damn it. I don't. Slide. Just, it's, there's only so many answers that it could be. <sighs> Give me enough for a half point. I thought that was enough for a half point. I actually point. thought that was enough for a half point, too. Yeah, me too. I'm not going to yeah, lie. For, that, no, you've given me enough. Oh, for he half. wants the other half. I want the other half. Okay, half. okay if he half. doesn't, if he doesn't, I'll try for the other half. Um, what did Ida do? Ida didn't Ida not get captured. She got she straight up got killed for it. Well, we never oh, saw the body. Yeah, we never saw. Yeah, body. we never found the body. Yeah. God, I should remember this. Take All right, give me ten seconds. I'm too slow. Go ahead and give it to Mike. No, you got ten seconds. Just fucking they—they they were they were battling the Garlands. I guess Sly, you got yeah. half point. He didn't just yeah. she didn't just escape. They were in the middle of a battle. Mm-hmm. And she basically held them off, and then he kept going. That's why I said diverted attention. Yeah, but. Diverted attention yeah. in what? Like there's still there's there's still more to it than that. Um, Didn't he have to guide other people also to uh, to safety? Was it just the, him? The scions basically, as long yeah, as it we was a scion the operation, scions, they don't they haven't had anything. Uh, they haven't wanted to have anything to do specifically with the Alamegans because it was an operation by the circle. And you remember in one point oh yeah. as well. When we're going off to help the Armegan resistance, I Minfield mean, is like, mm, no, that's not a good idea. Um, that's not going to end well. Um, so the Circle of Knowing launched an operation to try and rescue as many people from the other side of Belsar's wall as they could. They basically tunneled under it. Um, and th- this is all of the, the Circle of Knowing. Um, they they managed to get an Alamegan resistance member to gather a bunch of people and and try and get them through but someone tipped off the garlands uh the garlands came there was a fight he just stayed behind to 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 fight uh them off while everyone escapes and Aaron Vold was part of that party yeah and they left Peter behind um presumably to return Papalimo seems to think she died Papalimo has got her her mask um mm. and gave it to Lise and that's sort of Lisa's origin there. But it's also the reason why every time there's, you know, something to do with the Alamegan resistance in relation to the silence, they're kind of like, well, you know, we don't want to get involved because we already lost one of our own to that. So that's a half point there. But that was that was I mean, you're right. Yeah. Um, okay. So the score at the moment, oh should have like a three point lead, right? 
Is he took Nearly. It? Mike, you're on five. Sly's on seven and a half. These bonus rounds are going to be uh, an all or nothing. All right. Well, they always are. That's with Family Feud triple round. We haven't had we haven't had a bonus round in like two A or Zibias though. We haven't had a bonus round in a little while, but I think, I feel I like think we had one just before. Didn't we have? A, we didn't have a bonus round no. for four point oh, but we had one for three point five. I thought. I don't recall. Yeah. It's been a little while. All right. So we do have one. Um, I'm thinking, Sly, so since you're the defending champ, I am going to let you choose which one of these bonus rounds you would prefer. Now, the first okay. one, I am going to ask you to put um, five events in chronological order. Oh, bullshit. The other one is to uh, provide creature classifications. We've done creature classifications before. We've done, we've done a creature classifications one before. I think Sly, I think you ended up killing on that one. No. So I'll let you choose. No. no. I'll give you five seconds to choose. You gotta pick one. Uh, one for you. Creature classifications. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So I want you to give me the classification. Now Now you know your, uh, your different kin classifications, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So I want you to give me the classification each of the following creatures as they would appear in the Raindell Codex. The first one. Um, is Surikta, and I'll remind you that this is this is an all or nothing. You get five points, or you get no points. Nothing. First one, Surikta. Surikta. Mm -hmm. Surikta. I'm not going to tell you how many you get right until the very end. Surikta. I don't know what is. Um, do you want me to? Do you want me to give you the the classifications? Like the kins, I know. Real quick. Yeah. Um, okay, we've got. We have got beast kin, seed kin, vile kin, wave kin, cloud kin, scale kin, spoken, forge kin, ash kin, soul kin, void scent, and elemental. So the first one is Surikta. Surik. Yeah. I'll give that. you ten seconds on each of these. Can can you can I come back to that one? Can I just pass yeah. the second? Yeah, you can come back to that one. That's fine. Okay. Um, all right, Sphinx. Sphinx. Mm -hmm. Sphinx is. I think it's okay. I'm is not gonna get anything. Sphinx? Huh? Is that your guess for Sphinx? <sighs> I'm not going to get any of these right, so I might just go ahead and admit that, yeah. Okay. Um, Spriggan. Spriggan. Sulkin. Okay. Furble. Furble. It's Furble's those little tiny ball looking things. Mm hmm. That's the scariest <sighs> eyes imaginable. Little, little fluff balls, yeah. Say Sulkin. Sulkin? Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Okay. Pegasus. Pegasus as in the horse? Mm hmm. As in the winged horses, yes. How do I feel like this is a great question? <laughs> uh, Beastkin. Okay, and then we're back to Sericta. Sericta. I'll say Vilekin. Vilekin for Sericta. Okay. I'm wrong. I can't. I can't. Okay, out. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you stew on it while, while I, give I go. Yeah, Mike, yeah. his ones. Okay, so my, I want you to put these events in chronological order for me. Okay. Um, uh, can, I, be, can I type these just so I have them? In I, I, I can put them in the chat for you if that would be helpful. Mm, 
Well, I I have my the sponsor list. Okay, no, that's here. fine. That's cool. So I'll just mm. okay. All right, well, I'll I'll tell you. Okay, so I'm not giving them to you in order. I need you to put them in order. Obviously. <laughs> We're going to start with uh, the gill being adopted as a realm-wide currency. Okay. Um, the next one is going to be Ishgard, Uldar, and Linsel and Minster joining the Autumn War. All right. The next one is going to be the First Battle of Tanolka. The next one is going to be the death of Commander Venshalon Whitewater. Okay. And the final one is going to be the establishment of the Lancers Guild. All right. Well, I already know yeah. I ain't getting this one right. So, uh, let's see. Uh. All right. Let's see here. I am gonna go with first battle to uh well no the guild being adopted first first battle okay. to Nolka second death okay. of Whitewater third the okay. joining of the alliance into the autumn war and the Lancers Guild as the fifth one. Okay, you locking that in? I'm locking that in. Okay, let's um let's go back to slab. All right, so, so I was like, wrong. I think you got three. So, so no. the, the, the current score here is uh, Mike's on five, Sly's on seven and a half. These are worth zero or five. You either get them all right or you get none of them right. Okay, okay. I got zero. Okay. I got Sly. For uh, Sarikta, you guessed Vilekin. The Sarikta is a spoken. The Sarikta is. Uh, That's what I was originally going to go with. So part, of the, part of the Dravanian Horde. Um, they are uh, former Ishgardians. Yep. So, so. One, of, one of the forms that they take. Um, so they do count as spoken rather than as scale kin or dragon kin, just because they are basically humans that have been yeah. transformed. Um, okay. Second one is Sphinx. And you said spoken for that. The Sphinx are actually forge kin that were created by the Algans to resemble. Uh, creatures from Mericidian mythology in order to strike fear in the Mericidians. Mm -hmm. Spriggans are soul kin. You've got that. Furbles, you said soul kin. They're actually elementals, um, as far as we know. So you nearly, I mean, intuitively you would think soul kin, but apparently they're elementals. Uh, and Pegasus, finally, are actually Chimera, uh, which were created by the Allegans, again, based on an ancient myth of flying horses. They decided that they wanted to see if they could recreate it. Um, and the Pegasus, they broke out and flew away into the Sea of Clouds and kind of started the legend all over again. So, so Forge Kins. classification? Forge Kins, okay. No, Chimera. Pegasus. I'm sorry, Chimera. Chimera, yeah. Wait. So you got... Uh, one. One. Two. one, two, yeah, two out of five. Oh. Okay. Where was the other one? Which one was the other one I got? Spriggan and uh... one. Oh no, it was just Spriggan. Yeah, yeah that's oh. what I thought. One out of five. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, so you're still on seven and a half points. Don't worry, Sly. Mm. One of these is out of order. Mike, At remind me. Re remind me of the order <laughs> that you put them in. Uh, Gil Tanolka. Yeah, Tanolka. Uh, Whitewater, okay. uh, the other nations joining the Autumn War, and then the Lancers Guild. Okay. Which I think I know which of those is out of order, because I think the Lancers Guild was founded because of the Autumn War, not after the Autumn War. Um, okay. Well, these are all related to the Autumn, Autumn War. Autumn War, yeah. Obviously. Um, so, Venshala on Whitewater was the, uh, the commander of the Grudanian forces at the beginning, um, and he was killed pretty early on. He was actually killed before the first battle of Tanalka. Mm, okay. So that comes first. Then comes I thought he the died in battle. the battle of Tanalka. That was, that was the downfall. Then comes... Um, well, he died under mysterious circumstances, not in battle. Mm. He died of an illness. Mysterious illness. Um, then the first battle of Tanalka followed, uh, which was one of the first battles under the new Gridanian commander who was a Muppet. Oh, I just remember I the guild was adopted in the first place. Yeah. And I got pushed back. Uh, then Ishgard, Uldar, and Limsa join in the war. Uh, the war was subsequently won. Then the Lancers Guild was established by uh, a, a veteran 
of the Autumn Law. And then the guild being adopted finally, was to yeah. signify the alliance, uh, the Eorzean alliance in the end. Of well, the it was it was partly that. Uh, it was a few years later. So it was partly that, partly also to make sure that there was a, a consistency with trade across trade, yeah. all of the nation states, including Alamigo. Yeah. So, Sly, so, so, so we both got it wrong, which means you win, Sly. You were a little, you were a little bit closer, Mike, on the bonus one, but it isn't all or nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's for the final score on five points for Mike and seven and a half for Sly. Sly, there okay. were some of those questions. If you got them wrong, I was going to actually... Like, every, every fucking week, there's always a question that you get that I'm yeah. like, if I had fucking gotten that... If you had made yourself go first... I am yeah. confident I would have won this one with the questions. Oh, it works, rab- it works. Yeah. questions. No, it works. It works both ways. It's just that it always works out that I'm like, it's it's yeah. me. It's not him. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> I always happen to know the ones he gets, and then, yeah, and then I don't know any of the ones I get. Actually, yeah, I seven and a half point three for Sly. Congratulations. Seven and a half point three. Seven point five point three. Sounds like a no, little. Sly wins again. Sly retains the golden subligar. The golden subligar. How does it feel, Sly? How does it feel to wear... Oh, shit, where'd it go? Oh, it's gone. It's just a black screen now. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking hell. Oh, I know know why it wasn't there. Hold on. How does it feel, Sly? You want to know something funny? I read every sightseeing log. I read every triple triad card. I read every minion description. I re- mm-hmm. I went through the, the the main story quests to some degree, but I did not prepare anything from the old story quests, or I had just the things you asked, <laughs> or the old sightseeing logs. Like I was like completely dedicated to like, oh, I'll just look at all the four point one stuff and nothing else. Well, there was Either no way of- that we were gonna have covered all the four point oh stuff. That's a lot. Either of one stuff. of those bonus bonus rounds would have been shit for me. Like, I would have you you bit you had a good choice going with the the one you went with though because I actually I knew all those except one so I still wouldn't have won but I would have been a lot closer. Right. Well, well, the the bonus rounds are supposed to be like a hail mary for whoever's yeah. blind. Yeah, if they somehow managed to pull it out. Yeah, so, but I still think you picked the right one taking that because like I was like, yeah. oh shit, this could be any event. It's gonna be some event that I have no yeah. fucking idea about. Sure enough, the autumn war. Right. Sly doesn't seem all that excited that he won. But Sly, you have the hey, it's there this time. Yeah. But Sly, this this <laughs> every time you sound so unhappy. This is this is, this is, you're, this is like a, I feel like shit for all the ones so I've missed. It's like a it's like a white chocolate version of you. Come on, look at this. Come on, dude, you got uh, okay. seven and a half. Out of a possible fifteen points, including that's kind of a failing grade. Including, <laughs> yeah, but this isn't um, a, this no, isn't no, a no, class. This is a competition. Um, and actually, there's no, it's not. That's not technically true. You could have you could have gotten all twenty points if if Mike passed them all to you. Right. But point make seven, seven and a half is is pretty good. I mean, we've gone some rounds where it's been like one point to three. Yeah, that East round just fucked me. That East round fucked Sly. You were you pulled pretty far ahead during the East round. The only one I knew was the ninjutsu one, and uh, again, talking to somebody who's never touched rogue. (laughs) Yeah, but I haven't I haven't played ninja yet. This expansion. I I don't know. Like I, I'm just probably gonna pot it up to like sixty and take it from there. And guess what? Sixty to seventy is. When the ninjutsu. Get the story. The story's pretty good. Fine. And the ninja story is pretty good, like all the way through. Fine. It's pretty good. It's like the Dark Knight story. Although I don't like the fifty to sixty Dark Knight story as much as thirty to fifty. Really? Yeah. Sixty to seventy is pretty good, but the fifty to sixty. Ones, fifty though. to sixty Dark Knight was really fifty to sixty good. is like all right, but I'm just like, all right, I get it. Like you're like just keep just take care of the girl, all right? Just a fucking dumb with her. It's like Resident. Yeah. It's like Resident Evil Four. Just get in the fucking dumpster. Right? <laughs> I'll come back for you when I'm done. <laughs> uh, uh, it was yeah, a good competition. Well I don't feel so bad about like the last one. I was really upset that I lost this one. I'm like, ah, you know what? 
You were really, really salty the last one. To be fair, it was because I st I still very much believe that one question that totally deserved to get. This one, this one, I had a question that I, I don't like. Remember what that was? I don't remember what it was either because I don't Me fucking either. care anymore. But <laughs> of course, you don't remember. You weren't the one yelling about it. Whereas for me, this one, the only one I was, like, a little salty about was when I said, oh, I thought she left, and he said, no, she was banished. I was like, well, okay, that throws my answer. Yeah, I felt like that was kind of a trick. No, it wasn't she a left. trick, because the answer was it's that, but I didn't true. think she was banished, period. I mm -hmm. just thought she left. So when I said that, and he clarified that she was banished, not that she, she just left, I threw the fact that she could have been banished because she left. Because she left. Out of the window. Yeah. So. Well, it wasn't just because she left, because she left to go and study ninjutsu so that she could join the Doman fight against yeah. the Empire, which Suino Sato had basically decided that it wanted nothing to do with. And they basically told her, well, if you're going to go and fight, you can't come back because we're not, we're not about that. Not about that. And, like, I, and I love how we always get the maybe baby answers. We always get those point fives. Hey, those maybe babies make. Would you rather I didn't give you any point flies? Or would you rather I if, you, if, you, if listen? If we didn't slide, you much closer. I, you'd only been ahead by like I think one point as opposed to. Yeah, you got a lot of half points. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of half points. So you gotta love those half points. Hmm. Just remember, it's a learning experience for the viewers, specifically them. What did they learn that we know? And totally not no fuck all. myself. Yeah. I I went out of my way to memorize exclusively 4.1 stuff, and I was only prepared for 4.1 stuff. And even then, I still didn't remember some of it, because I went for, like, the really obscure shit. I can tell you why a Chipuli, you know, what what its horn does. I could tell you that, but that wasn't one of the questions. What is a Chipuli horn, dude? The Chipuli horn, they use it to basically, uh, to, to carve out the, the leaves before they, before they consume it. I think that's right. It is right. I'm telling you, I could... <laughs> it's like, that's not the exact wording it uses. It's on the Chipotle minion, specifically. They use them to, like, strip... Yeah. yeah. Like, leaves off of trees. Yeah. Yeah. It's for... Yeah. And then I could... I could tell you the origin of the Exotal Eft, or I could tell you the... The, the the quote on the Taru uh, the Pippin and Ralbon card, but I can't tell you half the other shit. I told Why you. Why would you know the quote on the Pippin and Ralbon because card? Because I read all the Triple Triad cards in case there was any question, like <laughs> like the Hrod the uh, Hrodrick one because that's from the Triple why would Triad I, card. Why would I ask? What, why would I ask? What is the the Triple Triad card for Pippin and Ralbon say? Because that's what the Hrodrick one is. The Hrodrick one says that on his card. That's where we got that yeah. information. But you can get that information from from elsewhere. Drown City of Scala itself. Yeah, it doesn't tell you that he was his fifth cousin in no, there. He was his, well, he was his cousin who was fifth in line specifically. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm it's just, not a card that just has a bloody quote on it. I'm just glad you didn't ask us about the. You know what's something I absolutely didn't try to memorize? The quotes in Rabbit Ass there, because we already established they were of no major consequence. No, well they're not. They're not at the moment. They're actually stories that are from Tactics. Like, they're direct mm -hmm. references to stories that are in Tactics. Mm -hmm. But that's doesn't... They don't, they're not relevant, like, you know, like, to the yeah, actual... They're yeah. yeah. They're just little Easter eggs. I absolutely remember nothing from Robin Aster. Really? Yeah. Man, I wish I... Like, I just went through... I, I wish I, like, kind of went back and just looked at the cutscenes for Revenaster because when I first went through it, I mean, I was kind of paying attention, but now it's just all gone. At least you don't fucking forget what all of the hierarchy of Garlemald... I've act I'm confident I've gotten the question about the hierarchy of Garlemald every time there's a question. The I never that get one, it. I never that get it. Tough. That one was tough. That one, that one was bull... Like, like, I felt like, like that was bullshit because like, citizen you have citizens and non-citizens. I understand you have... Oh. Their, yeah. Yeah. Like, there was a class system, but I remember that every specific, you know, hierarchy of Garlean has a specific thing that they're good at. And that's what I remembered about the boss when mm -hmm. I looked it up. And I'm like, and then you're saying you want me to go deeper. Yeah. I'm like, how deeper do you want me to go? They're just these people. Well, they're the no, lower they're, class citizens. They're lower class. Yeah. 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 Oh, and the thing I was thinking about earlier was the term peregrine. Which is the term they give the Alamegans that live in the Alamegan quarter who are not there, yes. basically. Yeah. 
that because that's yeah. also known as the, the Peregrine, Peregrine, the Peregrine, the Peregrine Quarter. Yeah, that was the thing that I said that I I knew earlier, but I didn't actually know the actual Garlean. I thing. so nearly put that in. I thought that that was an unfair question because it's on the site. It's on the sightseeing log, which I just did two I'm hours not so ago. The sightseeing log, but it's also like a really sort of strange one. I mean, mm. it's relevant to the quarter because you could have asked why yeah. the quarter existed. Why? Why are there citizens at Almegan Quarter? Oh, they were just. Uh... They were just, they're super low class. Just weren't deemed not worthy to live in the actual city. Well, they're all the Ans. They're all the non They're all the Ans, yeah. yeah. They do not have actual citizenship of Garlemald. Mm hmm There you go. Oh, my girlfriend ordered me lobster bisque and seafood God, damn spaghetti. Damn I just saw that. I saw that. Yeah! yeah! Let's fucking wrap this Somebody's up! Somebody's eating good. <laughs> Somebody's eating good. I was, about to have, I was about to have some spaghetti squash. That's what I was about to have. So that works for me. All right. On that note, hopefully you guys learned something, uh, which is the, the general purpose of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully Sly and I can have a better competition come 4.2, because that will be the next day of Zivia. It'll be 4.2. And we know that we're moving over to cover the Domen side of what's going on currently in 4.2. Yeah, they mm -hmm. said in an interview. They said in an interview recently. They said mm -hmm. 4.2 would be focusing a lot more on Doma. Didn't they say that we're, they were going to alternate? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, they didn't say they're going to alternate. They want to. They want to keep the relevance of each, but because this last one was so Western focused, the next one's going to be very, very Dolan focused. They said that right. in a recent yeah. interview. I got. I got to find the which one it was. There's been like seven interviews in the past week. Yeah. Um. So speaking of which, that was the other thing that at the beginning of the show I said if we have time we can cover. Uh, we'll go through it real quick. There's not a whole lot that isn't kind of hasn't already been said or isn't super ambiguous. Um, the first thing is Eureka. This mm -hmm. is big. Because it has been confirmed that Relic Armors, along with Relic Dang. Weapons, will be a part mm -hmm. of Eureka upon its upon its launch. The wording is very not ambiguous for like the first time in a long time. If I can find the quote real quick right here, because I had somebody said, Oh, they were really ambiguous about it, and I said I don't think this quote is ambiguous. Uh I let's see. I think the ambiguity is more about like we don't. A lot we don't of know what it in, what it involves. About what it will involve, and, and a lot of people are like, oh my god, I'm going to have to do like the equivalent of a relic grind for every piece of armor. We don't know any of that, right? Um, have you, the exact question was uh, relic armor. Uh, it was mentioned in an earlier interview that you could have thought about the idea of relic armor that can grow and improve your character through completing quests and running content, something akin to the zodiac and animal weapons quests we currently mm -hmm. have. Have you had mm -hmm. any thought about how this type of gear could be implemented within 14? Yes, we actually already solidified our plan for this. This content will be packaged within the Forbidden Land of Eureka content and thus will be implemented at the same time. That's as not ambiguous as an answer as you're ever going to get out of Yoshida's when he just goes, yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So how do you, I want to just get a quick thought on that because that's one of the big aspects other than the next ultimate already being worked on for 4.3, which we already had an idea about. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about relic armors, about the, about the concept of a relic armor along to join a relic weapon? Well, we have no idea what it's actually going to involve. I mean, we let's just assume people... it's very akin to the relic weapon itself. Let's just, for the sake of answering, let's assume well, it's a similar. If it, if it is, if it is the same kind of grind that it that it is for the, the relic weapon, I mean, is that for each piece or is that for the whole set? Or how, how about as how about as a concept of relic armor, the idea of an armor that grows with us, like weapons that grow for us. Regardless... I like I like the concept of it. I, the problem I've got is that everyone is begging the question when they assume that it is going to be as much of a grind as the weapon. I don't think that it will be. Any particular reason? Uh, because I think that that would be unreasonable. Sly? I just think that that would be ridiculous. How do you feel you about un, it? You say unreasonable. I think they're probably going to go in that direction. Now, the thing... The thing that I'm concerned with is once we actually see what the relic armor looks like, we, we need to see the stats as well. Is it really going to be worth it? Like, are they going to make make the grind worth it, depending on each stat for each job? Um, some will say yes, some will say no. Um, Let's just assume you can customize the stats for the sake of it. And then it's just about, secondary. it's about item level. Think of it more like item level relevance in relation to the patches in which they're incorporated and the length of which said armors are worth possessing. 
I feel like in there's so case, many I, facets, you got to pick which ones you really want to yeah. go for. Yeah, in that case, I think it's worth it, but at the same time, probably for me, I'll, I'll probably be focusing on... Well, they'll probably be placeholder until, you know, you get the stuff from Savage and everything, but... And then I'll probably just lean more on Savage armor pieces than, than Relic. But um, for people who, you know, mid-core the casual, I guess it... it it's, it's a good thing. It's a good step in the right direction. Now, one of the key things is that Eureka has been commented as a place where... Sorry, I keep fidgeting with this thing right here. Um, Eureka has been commented as a place where it is... The Relic is not... Eureka is not designed for the Relic. The Relic is placed in Eureka. <laughs> sorry. Eureka is not there just to satiate your desires to build a weapon. Or to build armor. It, ex it coexists with those things, and you will only be able to power them up inside of Eureka. So, with that in mind, do you think Eureka without the armor is going to be beneficial enough to your character? Because they've been the one thing they've been ambiguous about is the they keep saying it will give you customization. And people assume it's st stats on the armor, stats on the weapon, but the mm -hmm. question involving it is almost implies that like stats aren't interesting as it is so in terms of making it more interesting what would they do and i think i i think i can find the quote i think it was in an interview that i read yesterday uh from mean, MMORPG. Just making Eureka a more interesting piece of content rather than just being about but instead of yeah well can do you think eureka on that standing on its two feet if someone goes in there to complete stuff without working on their relic and relic armor and relic weapon will do you think it'll stand on its two feet i i hope so I, I want to say yes. We don't actually know very much at all about what kind of stuff we're going to be seeing in there. They're kind of holding those cards very close to their chests at the moment. Uh, but I, I really hope so. I really hope that they've learned from Diadem and I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. It sounds like he did. Like from the interview, it sounds like he realizes what went on in Diadem and that he's learned from it. So I'm, I'm kind of optimistic about Eureka. Just to be clear for anyone watching, Eureka has been mostly shrouded in mystery. The only thing we've heard mention on are mo uh, monsters with similar respawn times to what an S rank mm -hmm. hunt would have. You know, 72 hours, you know, 80 hours, stuff like that. We have no idea any of the other activities. Most people are presuming it's going to be fate grinding, uh, which doesn't surprise me because they said it can be done solo or with a party. It's mm -hmm. the first thing that comes to mind. Um, the comment I was looking for regarding customization is uh, Yoshida talking about why gear is as simple as it is and saying some of the customization people want to do is actually going to be available in Eureka. So when this content is released, we would like to see people play through it and give us feedback. And it's a specifically in reference to set bonuses, which he has also commented on that he is somewhat okay with the idea now more than he was before. So with Eureka, do you think this is just offsets or do you think we'll actually see interesting stats based on that comment? Hmm. I think it's going to be off stat customization. And that's it? Nothing else? Hmm. Even if it's something that's exclusive to Eureka? I don't think they're going to dig too deep beyond off stats. I mean, I think going anything beyond that, would pro I mean, would be interesting, but a little, I wouldn't say a little broken, but yeah, a little broken, so to speak. It might be a case of if you've got more than one piece of relic armor equipped, then you get like a, a bonus. stacking bonus to your secondary. It's like an extra 100 crit or something. But nothing it's, actually more involved than that. Because that's not even customization no. necessarily. That's like just kind of exists on top of your relic armor in a sense. Yeah, but when, when we're talking about set bonuses, like that's okay. what comes to mind for me. All right. Um, I think I had one more thing I wanted to hit on about Eureka real quick, since now the show's, you know, we, like I said, the show's at two hours, so I only wanted to hit one major point. We can, we'll probably talk about this more in detail next week, Sly, all these interviews. Like, we'll collect them and talk about them in full detail. Um, good. Uh, there's one other thing about that. I'll have to revisit it, because after such a long episode of getting my ass kicked, I think I just need to eat. Oh, and I'm thirsty. There you go. <laughs> Now I feel bad. I don't like all my Arnold Palmer jugs are downstairs. Yeah. I thought you said drugs for a second, not jugs. No, jugs. <laughs> like, like this. I know what you actually said, but I thought you said yeah. drugs for a second. Okay. Yeah, Arnold Palmer drugs. I mean, terrible. Never know. Some shady shit goes on in sports. But anyway, uh, thank you, Ethis, for 
the questions Anytime? this week. Anytime? Oh, God. Thank you for grilling you us. Wanna, you don't want to call us on that. We don't need to be made look dumb more than once every three and a half months, please. T fucking, you're going to say something? You're just going to make weird faces. No. No. No? Just, just going to say anything? All right. On that note, though, I think we can wrap things up. Get to eat. Get to day. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. You know. Whatever life involves, I suppose. Yay! Yay! All right, so at this, why don't you tell uh, every uh, one of these fine ladies and gentlemen? Oh, it's still Layla's picture from last week. God damn it! It's <laughs> fine. It's all right. It's been a long. It's me. No, it's yeah. not. Hold on. We're fucking. Caleb's. No, we're fixing. You hear? You want to pretend you're Layla for a second? Like that time that I did it with uh, when Mary had to leave early? Yeah, this is a photo of me, Layla, with uh, with Yoshida. Yeah, I, I was, I was, uh, it's not exactly what I meant by, by mocking him, but, okay. You, is, that, got, is that a card that they got for Yoshida? No, that's, uh, uh, it's, it's like a thing that they got a bunch of people to sign. Uh, something, something along those lines. Here, here, let's see. At this, I remember this, that. there we go. So that's, what the fuck? I literally, oh no, that's why. Do you not have a photo of me? No, it, I just changed. I just changed it, and Jeez. the screen went black instead of. Uh, Jeez. It's really weird. No, the screen went black instead of changing the image. That's. Right. Oh, and it even says the image is different now. What the fuck? Okay. It's right. broken. It's just a black screen, and there's nothing there. The abyss. Quality stream, everyone. No, it's it, dude, it's bugging it's bugging me out. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. My name is Ethis Ethis Asher. You can find me on uh, Twitter at Ethis F of XIV. You can that? find me on Twitch, YouTube, uh, Instagram, probably Facebook, all the other places you could think to find me. Uh, Ethis Asher. That's E T H Y S A S H E R. Uh, I stream most days. I'm gonna be streaming in about an hour. Yeah. And by the way, by it's the me. end of it, I had it fixed. I don't hey, know. Hey, I don't hey. know why your name like would not come up in the bottom right, even though it said it was visible. It's all right. We got there. All right. Well, that's. Oh, actually, I know why. Never mind. I totally know. Well, why. that's me. That's him. Enjoy him. Make make <laughs> a make a face for the camera. Somebody gift that now. All right, Sly, tell them where they can find you at. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Sly, a.k.a. Gray Fox. You can find me on Instagram at Sly, a.k.a. Gray Fox 07. You can find me on Twitter at Sly the Fox. You can find me on YouTube, youtube.com slash the Velvet Room. Uh, this week, uh, schedule change, schedule overhaul. Tomorrow's Warframe Wednesday, so going back, starting over from the PC side of things. Um, Saturday. Uh Saturday, Shin Megami Tensei Saturday. If you don't know what Shin Megami Tensei is, if you're new to the franchise, new to the series, or if you're a longtime SMT fan, we are starting with SMT Nocturne, like a full day of it Saturday. So feel free to come on by. To SMT that Saturdays are a thing now. Um, Mike, where can they find you? They can find me slowly fading into the darkness, apparently, without my lights on in this room. Mr. Abby127 at Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, tomorrow is going to be exciting. Final Fantasy XV's multiplayer DLC Comrades comes out. I'll be playing that throughout most of the day. However, that evening, I will be going to the Esports Arena in Santa Ana to host a short pre-stream before the tournament for Dissidia NT. Ooh. Which I'm excited. Uh, I'll be co-hosting the pre-stream with uh, Ray Chase, the voice actor for Noctis. And uh, who just got uh, revealed as a character for spring 2018 of uh, Tekken, which blows my friggin' mind. Uh, and then on top of that, the rest of the week will be mostly comrades. We've been also revisiting the stories I didn't finish earlier in the year for Final Fantasy XI, mostly because the servers were lagging in 14. But they're doing better now, so I can finally log back into 14 and actually do some things. But on that note, that's what my plans are. Those are our hosts. Thank you again, gentlemen, for the excellent show. And uh, we'll see you next week. We'll be talking about some of the interviews and stuff coming out. And hopefully we'll have... Oh, there's one more thing. Sly. Yes, there's Sly. one more thing. You know what's funny? Last week, Sly didn't get the opportunity to remind me. And I had to edit in a separate thing here. I was about uh, to... First of all, Sly, I also wasn't done speaking. Okay. I was uh, going to say, <laughs> and, and we were going to talk about Rival Wings. Because that comes out next Tuesday. That too, Ooh. but 
And then the sponsors. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Making sure you didn't forget. I was not done speaking, Sly. Come on, you were going to forget. Like you, you I was you, not you, done. You, you, you know what's funny? I wrote down the five things on the sponsor list, like at the bottom of the document, <laughs> so I could order them. So I had it in front of me. Uh... There you go. So what Sly is making me remember right now, because he's, he's, he's a good boy. Uh, yes. I'll give you a snack later. All right. Thank you. Uh, is that we have uh, sponsors on Patreon for the show uh, to help combat hashtag demonetize with the number of Dick Cherry jokes we had. Uh, I felt it was necessary. Had to happen. It just it, ha- it had to happen. That's it. That's the name of our Patreon is uh, the Dick Chariot Fund. Dick Chariot Demonetization. There you go. Woo! We there did it, go. Reddit. We did it, Reddit. I don't think they're proud of us, to be honest. Um, just don't give us 700,000 downvotes. Anyway, so we have to thank the sponsors. We have two different tiers. We have standard and we have elite tier. Uh, for our standard tier sponsors, we have Mars Techie, Sour Cream and Chives, Elson Lior, Valestra of, Fram- ah, Valestra of Famfrit, Renault Chikara, Kira Ryoshi, Ignis Faragun from the Diablo server, Goisha Valfer of Siren, Jean Francois, the Macho Lewis Hirsch first of Fairy, Phoenix Downfrey Company on Goblin, Saren from Zodiac. Thank you to our standard sponsors. We also have our elite sponsors. We have Krovos Moonscar. We have Naku Niyame. We have Ira and Evon Blanc Free Company on Zodiac. Johnny Odin of Tonberry, Aqua's Sacrifice, Obadil Shamsi, Spike, Broody Rudiker, Nadia and Kurosame, Kuja Cross of the Genova Server, Ahmed Kurnai, Oni Abdullah, Tin Colossus, Killer Hackman, Raw Jr., Darklight 2013, Arthur Ramil, Gaming Bishop, and Kiltastic Jones. That's all of them. That's thank you, everyone. That's all of them. Thank you. thank you. Yes. Thank you. You guys are awesome. You're all beautiful. Hopefully, you, hopefully those of you who have been enjoying, who got mugs from being supporters on Patreon are enjoying your mugs. They got mugs. They got stickers. Thank you so much for the support, everyone. And I got to make an update video for Patreon because with the move, it's been crazy. But anyway, uh, on that note, thank you, everyone, for joining us. We will see you next week. So, everybody, and I have the right outro. Thank you, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. See you next week.